So these Pixar Spotlight series figures flew under my radar for a little bit, but I have them, I got them, and I gotta say, this Buzz and Woody, they're pretty good, but are they the definitive, like, collector-ish style versions of these characters? Now granted, there's, you know, toys of them that are faithful to the film, that's the signature series. You get all the little features, you get all the little gimmicks, and you, you yeah, they can talk. You know, they're in scale to the movie. That's the signature series. But something like this, they're more so like action figures of the characters of Buzz and Woody rather than replicas of the toys from the movie. And while I really do like, you know, the more replica style figures, and I do have a couple of those, I kind of like the more like action figure versions of the characters too. Uh, for instance, one of my more recent uh, endeavors in this was with the Bandai model kits of Buzz and Woody, and I'm just gonna put them out here now, because I really do like these model kits, I really do. But I wanted something a little more authentic to, oh my god, Woody's just like, his hand's right in his face. Anyways, I wanted something a little more authentic to the actual toys too, uh, and I felt like with this Woody especially, I love the idea that he still had the cloth outfit, but he was poseable. Did that work out entirely? We'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, the model kits are really nice. Uh, I still really do like the model kits, and I, in some ways, prefer them. But I really do like these Signature Series figures, too. Now, do I think they were worth about 35 to 40 bucks a piece? We'll get into that. But anyways, you can see the comparison here. They're a little bigger than the model kits. Uh, they look pretty nice. I would say they look pretty nice. I really do like their appearance and everything, especially Buzz. We'll, we'll see that Buzz is the winner of these two. But yeah, let's just uh, get these out of the way. And one thing I really want to show off is the boxes. Because I actually got rid of a big chunk of my boxes. But I am not going to get rid of these uh, for one main reason. So moving Buzz and Woody out of the way, taking a look at these boxes. You can see they're pretty plain on the outside. You get a picture of the character. You know, you get a pretty decent artwork on the side. And on the back, it just has a bit of a write-up. If you do want to give that a read, there you go. But one of the cool things about this is that it actually has a diorama little backdrop on the inside. Now, I hate that squeak. <laughs> now, even though I actually got rid of a lot of my diorama backdrops for my Studio Series Transformers, uh, you know, I don't display my Transformers in little dioramas. But when it comes to Toy Story, I think I might like having my Buzz Lightyear looking like he's on Andy's bed. And uh, I think it's really nice. Showing off Buzz's box real quick. You can see a bit of a write-up there. That's false advertising. We'll get into that. <laughs> but yeah, a little write-up there. Let's just show off what these backdrops look like. So as you can see, we got some odd things going on here. Woody's is like this star, which is like, you know, his sheriff's badge. And Buzz's is Andy's bed. But if we flip Buzz's, it's his Star Command logo. And if we flip Woody's, it's all of the Woody's Roundup merchandise. So, it's kind of odd. I mean, you can, like, rebend it and have this in the front. Unfortunately, mine got some damage, which is lovely because this is a side I'd use, of course. But, yeah, it's kind of odd how, like, you know, they did the... They defaulted different sides for the different figures, even though, like, in my opinion, these are the sides that I would want to use. Uh, they do have a little bit of additional detail on the edges there, but uh, for... Oh, my gosh, that's ridiculous. But for the purposes of this... I'll probably just leave it like this for now since I don't feel like worrying about folding stuff over. But yeah, I think I'm going to end up using these at some point. I don't have the space to use them now, but let's bring Buzz and Woody back so you can kind of see why I'm thinking that I want to use those. Because those just look really cool. Especially like seeing Buzz on the bed and everything. Oh, that's just nice. So... What do they come with? So each figure has interchangeable hands and heads. Uh, Buzz has a little bit more going on because he gets two heads. So he kind of has a more like toy faithful head on right now, but we do have two alternates. Uh, we've got one that's more, you know, characterful and uh, stern, and then we have one that's shocked and surprised. Uh, I think the likenesses are pretty good on these, but I just don't think they're better than the one actually on the figure right now. I don't really see myself using either of these, 
you know, for a long-term display. They look nice, but I feel like this one's is kind of very specific, and I don't see myself ever really using it. And uh, we'll get to that with Woody. But yeah, you know, they, they, look, they look good. They do the part. Uh, if you want to, you can combine them and have a very odd buzz slug. If you want to have yourself a buzz slug, there you go. That is awful. I'm so sorry. Uh, but he also does have like a little gripping hand on his right and a fist hand on his left. Currently, he has a fist hand on his right and an open hand on his left. But yeah, some nice interchangeable hands if you want. And Woody has this very odd surprised expression. It's supposed to match buzzes, you know, like they're both shocked at something. But I just feel like this is a waste. Because uh, with Woody, you get like a characterful, like, you know, a live toy face, but you don't get a toy face with Woody like you do with Buzz. And I just feel like this is a... <laughs> Who's going to use this, honestly? Who's going to have their Woody always looking like he just walked in on Andy doing something dirty in his high school years? I just I just don't think anyone's going to use this. <laughs> so let's just... It's also very hollow plastic, too. It has a very, you know, odd consistency of it. It has this huge seam. It's on both of the heads. It has a huge seam running down. But it's all right. It's just... Uh, uh, I'm never going to use it. Uh, so yeah, with Woody, you have a fist so he can punch people, and you have a thumbs up so he can approve of people after he's punched them. So yeah, it's stuff you get. All right, let's get to the figures. So let's start off with Buzz, because he's the better of the two. So he also has a display base. Uh, if you remember me saying on the... Uh, on the box that there's some false advertising. That's because the display base, while it does have hinges, the hinges are very weak because they made it a clear freaking plastic display base and it cannot support his weight. It just, it straight up cannot support his weight. There's, I've not found a single configuration where he can stand and stay unless you have it leaning in such an odd position where he doesn't even look right. This is just a waste, honestly. It's, it's not gonna work, it's, he's too heavy. So yeah, that arm is useless. But the actual base, I like how it has the Pixar ball, and uh, you do have nice peg holes in the feet where you can actually position him on this base and uh, and get him looking pretty good on there. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty worthless, but at least it helps him stand. Uh, otherwise, uh, he actually does have a couple extra things going on accessory-wise, uh, namely with his dome. Because you can flip his dome up, and of course you can have it like this, which is more like how Buzz action figures do when they can't like fully remove it. But thankfully they did think for once, <laughs> and you can't actually remove it. And even though this is clear plastic, it kind of has like a softness, like a flexibility to it, where I'm not afraid to break it trying to remove this. Uh, so we can just pop that off, and we can have Buzz without the dome. So I think that's a really nice display alternative. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but I actually do keep my model kit Buzz without the dome, just because I think it looks nice, and also it broke. Where did it break? Right there. Yeah, it broke on the inside of it. <laughs> so, yeah, and not really by choice, but also I just kind of by choice. Yeah, I actually really like the look of Buzz without the dome. Uh, it's not something that we got with a lot of old Buzz figures. Uh, his head, like I said, this is more of a toy expression, and I still think it really captures the essence of the character, too. I love the ball joint motion in the head. You get a lot of range. It's really nice and expressive. Uh, you do have the wings, which are nice. They're actually, like, unified, so if you move one out, the other moves out, and you can spread them, too. Uh, awesomely, it was spread in the package, and mine came with a nice little stress mark, so I'm thinking if I hit it with a heat gun, that might come out, but... Yeah, lovely. And also these wings kind of collide with the display base, and it also droops a little bit. So, lovely. <laughs> these are stickers, too. These are stickers, and I do worry about the longevity of these stickers. Even though it does seem like they're kind of recessed in, which is nice. Because looking at the model kit, which, not to flex about the model kit, but you press the button and the wings actually pop out. But yeah, it, the stickers aren't recessed, they're actually sticking out, and that results in them getting scraped when you use the, the wings like that. But, you know, still get the wings. That's cool. I dig it. You actually do get the arm communicator, too, which is really nice. Open that up, and uh, it's actually not a sticker. It's actually a print on the inside. So I think that's really nice looking. I dig that a lot. And you do have his laser, obviously. All those little tampographs. Uh, most of what the details you see are prints, but some are still stickers. Like uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that might be a print for the Lightyear, but I know the Space Ranger is a sticker because it's a little kind of peely on the edge right there. Other than that, the paint's pretty spot on. His fingers are painted, which is nice. 
Uh, he actually does have a soft belly, which is interesting. Uh, his shoulders are not soft, unfortunately. But yeah, he's got a soft belly. Uh, he looks pretty good in general. I really do like it. He does have some fake screws in his thighs. Uh, and I actually did uh, take a silver Sharpie just to make him stand out a little bit. I also did the same with the uh, fake screws in the arms. But the fake screws in the backpack actually were painted, so that's kind of cool. I just wanted to keep it consistent. I don't know, I was just by my desk, and I'm like, yeah, I got a silver Sharpie right here. Let's just, let's just do that. Why not? Let's do that. Uh, so yeah, his articulation's pretty good. I already showed off the head. His shoulders get a lot of range. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. He's got a decent elbow bend, but I think it could have been a little better. And he has a uh, hinges at the wrist. He does have a nice ball joint at the waist, which is really good. His hips are a little disappointing because they kind of have this awkward swing to them. They move out really great, but moving forward is kind of a struggle. But thankfully you do have a knee bend and a swivel, so you can still get some pretty decent knee articulation. And his feet are on these really nice ball joints, so you can get a lot of nice range out of that. So overall, Buzz is really nice. There is no Andy on the bottom of uh, the feet of either of these figures. But yeah, I really do like the Buzz. I think the Buzz is, in a, a lot of ways, actually superior to the Bandai kit. But in other ways, uh, I feel like the Bandai one did it a little better. Mostly with uh, the actual retention of the, you know, hitting the button and the, the wings spring out. I actually thought that was really cool. It was even cool to, like, build that, too. Of course, the Bandai one has moving eyes, but I feel like that's just kind of a bonus, not really something that's required for a figure like this. And the Bandai does have some better articulation. But overall, I think for the size and the price, I actually do think you get you get your 35 bucks worth out of Buzz. Woody, on the other hand, is a different story. This figure is actually pretty disappointing. I don't know what went wrong with Woody. I just don't know. He's already down one head, so that's a great start. Uh, looking at his hat, that is obviously an accessory. Uh, they did not paint the brim around the hat, which is eh, it's not ideal. Then again, the Bandai model didn't either, and I painted that. But still, you know, it would have been nice, especially if we're paying 35 bucks or 40 bucks for this. I would have liked, you know, the full paint. Uh, but the head sculpt on him is pretty good. I do like the head sculpt on him. I think it's pretty pretty expressive, pretty nice. Of course, it does have the big seam running down the neck, which looks kind of funny. And it is, ironically, a very hard plastic one in the movie. It's, like, super soft. Uh, one unfortunate thing, though, it's basically just on a swivel. Like, it's a ball joint. The product image on uh, Mattel Creations shows it at a bit of a tilt. But there's no way to tilt the head. It just, it just swivels. And that is only the beginning of the articulation woes. Uh... We'll get to that in a little bit, though. The costume, though, I think is pretty nice. It's not perfect. It has a couple issues. Uh, I do think the sheriff badge is really nice, and I do like the the cow jacket. I think that worked out pretty good. It's pretty much all printed on, though, even the little edge work, but, you know, it's still decent. Uh, the print on the stripes is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the buttons on the hands, the buttons that, like, theoretically would have kept the hands, like, into sewn into the doll, uh, those are just printed on. Uh, but I do like how it printed on some of the stitches. Uh, I think that looks pretty nice. They're not raised or anything. They're not actual stitches, but I do like that it's printed on. The belt's pretty nice. It's an actual working belt. Uh, it's not like an actual, actual belt. You can see the, the loop there is fake, but you can untab it if you need to. Uh, the buttons on the body are real. Those are real buttons, but they don't really have a lot of detail. Uh, his bandana is nice. Uh, has all the little details and things, um, but unfortunately it is, like, attached to the front collar. Uh, the costume's a little little iffy here and there. Uh, I do like the holster. I think that turned out pretty good. But I just feel like this fabric costume, I don't see how this costume being fabric warranted all of the cutbacks for the actual physical figure. Because uh, let's get into the articulation in a minute. But first, just showing off the base. It's a pretty basic doll stand. Uh, it slides up and down. He goes around it pretty nice. Uh, I actually think there's no real issue with his base. I think it's pretty good. And actually, it holds up his weight better than the <laughs> the Buzz one holds up Buzz's weight. But let's get into the sadness. Let's try to articulate him because this is pretty bad. Like I said, head's pretty much just on a swivel. Even though it is on a ball joint, it's on a peg. Uh, unfortunately, there's just no motion there, even though I feel like they could have easily engineered it. The shoulders, nothing really wrong with the shoulders. They're on, you know, hinges and swivels. Elbows, they bend a little less than 90 degrees. 
and you get no bicep swivel. Nothing. Oh, man, that is really bad. I was expecting something, man. I don't see why there isn't. Uh, hinge and swivel at the wrists. He does have a... Here's a picture. I actually did take off some of his clothes. Uh, so you can see where there's no bicep swivel, but you can also see where there's a cut in his torso. There is no... Like, I, I have forced it. I have seriously taken a blade to it to see if it was, like, stuck or something. I've, I've tried everything. I can't get that to move. I don't know if it's just assembly or a point of articulation, but I can't get a waist swivel out of him. His hips are pretty nice. They move in and out pretty good. You know, I feel like the pants allow it to move pretty well. I do like that. Same issue with the knees. Uh, you get a little less than 90 degrees in the knee, and there is no thigh swivel. Man, I just don't know what they were thinking. It's just, like, come on, you can hide all this articulation under the outfit. You're already giving him one less head, and you're giving him significantly less articulation than Buzz. All of this articulation that I'm saying is missing on Woody is on Buzz. I don't understand. I don't. Uh, so, his feet, you can rotate the boot. He's got, like, this hinge, his uh, hinge swivel rocker thing at the foot. And for whatever reason, they cut all this articulation, but they gave him a toe joint. That makes no sense to me. It looks pretty ugly. <laughs> it's like he's pretty much seamless, except this massive toe joint. In my opinion, if they would have just made the boots solid with nothing to move besides just a swivel, and given him the missing like elbow and uh, thigh rotation I would really want, I think it'd be a lot better. But, man, I just, I don't know what they were thinking with this Woody. There's not a lot of poses you can get him in because his range is so limited. Like, one of the few poses I can get him in, and it doesn't even look that great because he's just so limited. It's, like, kind of holding his hat. But you can see, like, I'm struggling to even, because his elbow has so little range, I'm struggling to even get it up there. And I can't tilt his head to meet his hand. It's so limiting. The articulation on this Woody is so bad, I am, uh, I'm pretty disappointed in it. It is sold out on Mattel Creations. Woody's sold out, not Buzz. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this Woody. I mean, it looks nice, but if you're trying to pose it or anything, you really can't. It's not really posable, even though it's an action figure with articulation. It's kind of, you might as well just have a doll at this point, because it's, the articulation is so limiting, you can only get the most basic poses out of him. So, what do I think about the Mattel Creations Pixar Spotlight Buzz and Woody? I think the Buzz is pretty great. Uh, I feel like there's a couple things that the Bandai one does a little better. Like, I think the arm articulation is nicer on the Bandai one. Like, you can get more of a, an elbow... Uh, the leg articulation is a lot nicer on the band eye. Uh, I do like the button press. The eyes, it's just kind of like a little extra bonus. I feel like his arm's coming off. Let's not do that, Buzz. Uh, but yeah, I do feel like the model kit uh, does a few things better, but I feel like this one also does some things better, too. And ultimately, I feel like that's a pretty good Buzz. But with the Woody... I was sold on this entire set because the Woody was an articulated figure with a fabric outfit. I was thinking, finally, there is a Woody that I can pose that still looks like a doll that's not several hundred dollars. Because <laughs> uh, I like the model kit, but he does have some issues too. Like the hat, I actually had to modify and add foam pads so it would actually stay on his head. Uh, I had to do a lot of the paint for like the pinstriping and everything. I had to paint the bandana. You know, a lot of effort went into making this Woody as nice as it is. But even then, I feel like, you know, it, it doesn't have the fabric. But I feel like even though this has the fabric, I still prefer the Bandai Model Kit Woody. I feel like it's more expressive. It has better face choices. Uh, I feel like it's just better overall. So, do I recommend these? I recommend the Buzz, but I don't know if I can recommend the Woody. I really don't. I mean, the Woody's sold out right now, so it's, you know, not really readily available. I don't know if it'll even come back. I, I just, I think the Woody could be better. And there is a part of me that's tempted because all of his articulation is hidden underneath the outfit. I'm tempted to take a knife and cut up his arms and legs and, like, use metal pins or something to basically give him the articulation I feel like he's missing. I'm tempted to, like, cut away some of the elbow and knees to get him more range. I'm seriously tempted to modify this Woody 
to make it on par with the buzz <laughs> because the buzz can do so much like it's it's standard figure articulation where you can move the arms side to side you know gi joe figured that out back in 1983 that you need to have the arms move like that if you're gonna have a posable action figure <laughs> you know and i feel like this woody it's like what were they thinking taking all these backtracks i i just for 35 bucks you know, you're already cutting out one extra accessory from Woody. Like, Woody doesn't have an extra head like Buzz does. But Woody doesn't even have the same amount of articulation. And you may think, oh, but Woody has the cloth outfit. But yeah, Buzz has a lot more plastic and a lot more pieces to the plastic. You know, Buzz is a way more complex figure than Woody. And I feel like, you know, Buzz's complexity and extra plastic should have equaled Woody's clothes. I don't feel like Woody should have all the cutbacks he does compared to Buzz. These figures do not feel like they're on the same playing field. They look like they are. They look really great together. Like, they really do. I think they look stunning together. I, I love this pair. Uh, I don't regret getting the Woody. But unfortunately, I just feel like the Woody is so limiting because the head articulation, you can't get it... Like, look, all I have to do with Buzz... Lift up this dome that I didn't successfully pop in. Just tilt that head a little bit. Let's tilt it back a little bit. Look at how expressive that is. It's great. I love it. Buzz is awesome. Woody, not so much. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I think I'm done rambling about, you know, children's movie characters that are older than me. I really like these figures, but the Woody is very, very disappointing. Uh, like I said, I recommend Buzz. I'm not sure on Woody. Uh, Woody has way more issues than he does, like, really, you know, highlighted things. And Buzz, he only has a couple issues here and there. Mostly, like, that display base is kind of iffy. And uh, it's kind of hit with Buzz. <laughs> I feel like he could have a little bit more range of motion, but it's nothing too crazy. Alrighty, guys. I think I've rambled on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special shout-out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.